One Winter's Day is the first book. Oh, you know what? I should start reading about who they're by. One Winter's Bay Day by M. Christina Butler. One Winter's Day. A little hedgehog was making his bed. The winter was sudden. Gusts of wind blew him off his feet. It took hold of his cozy nest, tossed him high in the air. The little hedgehog trembled as the wind whistled around him, and he wondered what to do. He caught a hold of his hat and scarf and mittens before they blew away and tried to find a shelter under the tree and roots. But when, wherever and whatever he went, the wind blew them as well. I'll have to stay with the badger until the storm has gone, he said, last pulling his woolly hat glimmy over his pickles. Then he snuggled into a cozy scarf and put his mittens deep on his set. The wind was even stronger in the meadows. The leaves swirled here and there. The snowflakes filled the air. The little hedgehog hadn't gone far when he bumped into his family, a field of mice shivering in the grass. I've never known such a storm, squeaked the mother mouse. The wind has blown the nest far away. My poor babies are so cold. My home has been blown away as well, said the little hedgehog. B said the little hedgehog. I'm on my way to stay with the badger, but I have just the thing to keep you warm. And he took off his woolly hat and gave it to the mice. Aw, so sweet of him. Oh, lovely, squeak the, they squeak snuggling out into the wind. Thank you, little hedgehog. The little hedgehog tucked his nose into the scarf and ran aside racing. An otter was on the bank, huffing and puffing his paws. Hello, otter, shouted the little hedgehog. What are you doing? Hello, hedgehog, replied otter. My fur coat keeps me warm. I put my paws are freezing. Here, have these, said Little Hedgehog, giving the otter his mittens. They should do the trick. Thank you, Little Hedgehog, said the otter. These are great, but shouldn't you be at home this in this cold weather? I have no home anymore, Little Hedgehog said. The wind has blown away, and I'm running, he had cried. I'm going to stay with the badger. Hi, Matt. How you doing, man? By the time the little hedgehog reached the woods, it was snowing and getting deeper on, struggling, picking his way between the snowflakes as the wind howled at him. A mother deer and her fawn were sheltering in the bushes. Oh, little hedgehog, why aren't you at your nest in this awful storm? She asked. So little hedgehog told the mother deer about his nest blowing away. But as he spoke, he saw the little fawn was shaking in the cold. Here, take this, he said, giving the fawn his scarf. How kind you are, said the mother deer. Thank you, hedgehog. The little hedgehog pattered faster and faster, but just as he finally saw the badger's house, at the bottom of the hill, he skipped into an icy path. Help, he cried, and went bumping and bouncing in the snow. 
Jeez. The badger was making some tea when he heard the big thud outside. Whatever was that, he cried, dropping his, his toast. When he opened the door, a prickly snowball rolled in. Gracious me, he said with a surprise, it's Little Hedgehog. The badger carried Little Hedgehog onto the armchair by the fire, gave him some cup of tea. Little Hedgehog told the badger about his journey through the storm. And then, cozy and warm, he fell asleep. Little Hedgehog stayed with the badger till the storm had gone, as well as walked to hear where his house had been. Little Hedgehog was very worried. How can I build a strong new nest if all the leaves and twigs have been blown away? There is nothing left, he said. I will help you, said Badger kindly. We are nearly there now. Surprise! came a cry from their turned corner. Little Hedgehog glassed with delight. The animals he had met from the storm had made him the coziest nest he had ever seen for the kindness of the hedgehog in the world of together. Oh, they made him a new home out of everything they had. That's so nice. That's actually the end. They should say the end, but... <laughs> This is a nice book. I actually never read it before and I saw it at the library and I thought it was amazing. So this is my first video of Sarah with, um, actually I'm gonna call it Christmas reading this year. Christmas reading of 2021.